All right, what is up guys, Jerry Campisi. Welcome back to the channel. We're back in Dado's garage, working on the BMW M1000RR. Don't forget, this is a giveaway motorcycle. You can enter to win this bike, patreon.com slash Customs. Today we're gonna be doing a major brake upgrade on this bad boy. Probably gonna be running about $2,500 to $3,000 worth of parts alone. And I'm really, really excited to get this stuff installed. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, we got BTT, otherwise known as Christina K. She's gonna be doing the unboxing for us today. Um, don't forget all of her spicy links are in the comment section below along with Dotto made as well Support your boys and girls because uh, that's how we are able to do all this stuff by the way This is sponsored by Modal Million if you guys want to get parts for your bikes modalmillion.com use my code camp peasy to save yourself some money we got all of these parts through Moto Million and uh, we couldn't do the builds without them. So like I said, today's gonna be a massive brake upgrade and the reason why this is so important on this bike, there's really two things I don't like about this bike in stock form. One is the brakes. They, they painted these Nissan calipers blue and put an M on them, but that doesn't make them a good caliper. Um, <laughs> so, so they still have Nissan calipers and they still have Nissan masters. So both of these are gonna get replaced in this setup. To be fair, they're not really that bad for street use, but on the track I've heard that they can fade. Look at that. So this is a Brembo Stylema caliper. Color. Yeah, and they're custom painted red. So we had red or black options. They didn't have blue ones, so I didn't want to wait for blue. But I figured since the rear caliper is blue, it would be cool to do the asymmetrical scheme and do red on the front caliper. So these are getting replaced with red Brembo calipers. It already has steel braided lines. We're even doing T-Drive Brembo rotors and we're gonna do a master uh, Corsa Corta RCS 17 master. Look at that. How beautiful is that? So since we're gonna have a red caliper up here, like maybe we could put a red acro symbol on the uh, exhaust. We have a ton of titanium bolts, pro tie bolts in blue. I believe these are the sets for the rotors. Look at that, they already come, they already come with the, um, uh, what's it called, Loctite on there, which is really nice. Dotto, look yeah, look at that. Stuff. Absolutely stunning. Show Dotto, show Dotto, dollar, dollar. show Dotto. Dude. And then look at the calipers, dude. Dollar. Look at these bad boys. Okay, those are nice. Look, look at the other those side. Are really nice. I like, I like red a lot. Oh. He got these painted. Yeah, custom painted Brembo calipers. How did he get that? I don't know. Isn't that cool? That's like crispy clean. They're sold out of the blue ones, but I do. I believe they have red and they have black right now. But don't I like you, the red a lot. Yeah, don't you think red looks cool because we have blue on the rear, so it kind of goes with that asymmetrical. S1000, even though this is the M1000, but aren't they nice? They're very These nice. Stylema calipers are like $900 by themselves. Don't drop it. Yeah, the T-Drive rotors are 900 bucks too. So, yeah, that's that's that. These are these, and then we got the Stall Bless <laughs> Breeders. <laughs> we got Stall Bless Breeder, uh, Bleeder, sorry, I can't speak. You can't speak It's today. cold in here, okay? <laughs> and then we have uh, titanium bolts for the front ABS ring. Yeah, a couple and more then check car. these. It is cold, Otto. Check these out. Adding more carbon. More carbon. So those are the front brake cooling ducts in carbon. I actually have a set of these for my um, Lambo Diavel as well. Twins, they're twins. And I'm waiting on more parts for this bike. So we have front and rear axle sliders coming. Um, we have some titanium bolts for here. The um, swing arm pivot bolt coming. Um, center stem nut up there coming. Around, yeah, we gotta turn it around. And then I actually asked Manny for a carbon fiber um, windscreen. So I think those are coming. I've got stuff coming for my Diavel as well. We've got new bikes coming. We're gonna be bike shopping for the next build series bike. There's a lot of stuff coming here in the next couple of months. It's gonna be a lot of fun content. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Oh, yeah, that's cool. yeah, this is the bell of the ball right here with the calipers. Look at these T-Drive rotors. So I believe these are floating rotors. Maybe I'll pull up online what makes these so special, but look at that. We're gonna have to weigh all of this too. Look at it, wow, yeah, look at the different machining on these rotors too. Hold up. So Dotto, do you know what makes the T-Drive rotors better than the stock stock rotors? Not. Okay, I'll pull it up on Motor Millions website oh, and I'm sure they'll tell us, but floating rotors. yeah. That's cool. How cool is that? So we have one for each side and I think that's it for all of the parts. It's a lot to get through today, so we're gonna, Pour some whiskey and get started immediately. Thank you, Tina Wieners. Go support her on all of her links in the description below, and uh, let's get to work. All right, so we pulled it up here on Moto, Moto, Moto Millions website so we can read about them. I'll just put a link in the description below, but basically they said this is uh, 
T-Drive front rotors that have been developed from experience in MotoGP and World Superbike. Uh, the rotors have a larger than standard thickness friction surface with a CNC machined aluminum carry carrier. They also have T-pins that attach to the rotor to the carrier. This allows for more effective transfer of braking torque, provides maximum thermal resistance and ensures a full flotational action in both axial and radial directions. So all you really need to know is they're better than the stock rotors. And then regarding the calipers, you can see if you want to read online, I'll put links to this as well. You can read why these are better and the Hayes calipers, the Nissan calipers on the stock, uh, the stock calip calipers, um, we're having issues with um, leaking. And uh, like I said, they're just not as good as a Brembo caliper. And people are asking why we use the RCS 17. It's because this caliper pairs with the RCS 17 or the Master or the RCS Corsa Corta 17. So that's why we got what we got. And uh, now we got to take this bike off the lift and swap it around. Well, flip it around um, because we need to take the front wheel off to do all of this. So that's what we're going to do next. So this thing sitting on the ground, not being up on a lift, just like being pushed around. Holy Christ. It, crazy. it looks insane, especially next to like other bikes over there that are nice bikes, but they're like more normal bikes. I mean, this thing just looks like a piece of rolling artwork. It's insane. Also, thank you guys so much for all your feedback on what we should put on the um, Acra muffler. We kind of decided um, we shouldn't be engraving anything on an Acra muffler, muffler other than the Acra logo. So I ordered some blue and black stickers that we can put on there and then we don't we won't get sued or sent a cease and desist letter from Acra since I know that they do watch my videos. So um, that's probably the safest thing to do. Anyway, we have our signatures on the seat as it is. So I don't think we need to put du uh, double things on there. So, all right, we're gonna put this up on here and I'm gonna give them a hand, but look at that. It looks incredible. All right, we got the bike flipped around. We've got a paddock stand in the front. Now we can, we'll be able to remove this front wheel. He found a tool that takes the axle out. We got four pinch bolts. We got the tool ready for that. We even strapped it down since it was actually a little bit thick for this. He needs to widen that whenever he gets a chance. We went ahead and smoked some uh, red breast, single pot, still Irish whiskey. And then Dotto actually has some new products that he's gonna be coming out with that will be available soon. Um, on his website. So dottomadeshop.com. Uh, it's the first link in the description below. Check that out guys. Camp Easy Custom uh, little um, basically like water or coffee mugs type things. They're insulated. They look beautiful and I'm actually going to be buying this one from him so you can't have that one. But yeah, check out his website. He's got all kinds of cool stuff on there and support your boys. That's what's cool about these glasses. Smoke just sits in there. Look at that. All right, so we're going to cheers. Smoked red breast. Never had it before. Look how cool this is. To everybody who drinks while you watch our videos, cheers. We appreciate you. Cheers, guys. More than you'll ever know. That's phenomenal. Just smelling it before I tasted it, I was like, that's going to be good. All right, he's loosening the pinch bolts. That's basically what's pinching down the axle and keeping it. Jared asked, he in said, because I was like, what size do you think it is? So he's like, what does the T stand for? for like this one's a T45 and it stands for Torx. Cause even though we call these star bits all the time. Yeah, we do. I'm not, you know, the official I'm a mother effing star bit. bit. Yeah, so Torx bits. Torx okay. 45. We'll loosen these and then we should be able to what? Loosen the actual axle and pull it right out? Yeah, the axle should um, come right out. All right. So actually this part here was spinning the little sleeve that it sits in. So we had to tighten these back down and then he was able to use that and break it loose. Yep. So once you do that, the whole axle will come out and then you can retighten everything down. So. Sweet. So this is your last look at the stock setup right here. Dado's going to do a cool reel on his Instagram with the wheel spinning. It's going to be super cool. And after he, uh, we do the whole upgrade, it's going to, it's going to spin into the new setup. It's going to be very badass. Does, can this come out? Um, I don't know, I gotta take a look at it. I gotta pull this out first. All right, so once the axle's out the other side, you can take these pinch bolts out on this side and then the spacer has to get moved out of the way. Then the wheel should come right out. I told Jared it should be fairly. It's nope. hitting the calipers. No, I gotta do the calipers. Yeah, we don't wanna scratch up the uh, carbon wheel. Bummer city. Hey, I did say do the calipers first. That was just a complete and utter lucky guess. <laughs> but I'll take it when I can get it. I broke loose the uh, caliber bolts. Yeah, so there's a um, clip here that holds this um, ABS, ABS line. sensor. You can just kind of move it out of the way from here as it get the bolt oh, pulls it in. Yeah. And then these should just slide right off. Be um, careful with there's the carbon a, wheels, huh? There's a lot of 
people that'll tell you, make sure you don't hang these. Um, I think it's all right. It's on a steel braided line. That's what I was gonna say. We can also tie braided. it up. Yeah. Um, they feel pretty heavy. We're gonna remove all the stock parts, and then I wanna weigh them versus the new parts. So that's the that's the tentative game plan. We'll see if that works out. So we'll take the other side off, and then we should be able to slide out the wheel. Look how loose these are. This is, you should never do this with an impact, but here it is with an impact. <laughs> That's loose. <laughs> That's crazy. It's off. Huh. I wonder what the torque is on that. That looks like about, what, 50? Not even? 40? <sighs> to be honest with you, I without looking it up, I don't yeah. know, but it we'll does check. not feel like much. My assumption is it's because it's two aluminum pieces, and this actually looks like an aluminum bolt, not a stainless bolt. I, have to I wish we had tie bolts for those, but I don't think... It would they just, either don't make them or Manny didn't send them. It would just tie everything together. Uh. All right, wheels coming out. I was holding the caliper so I couldn't yeah. film right there. Um, it's pretty heavy, man. Yeah, it's it's because of the rotors and stuff, but it is a pretty light carbon wheel. I believe it's about five or six pounds, so it's pretty damn light. Um, now we bike. can, yeah, we're back to hover bike mode, and then now we can remove the uh, stock rotors. All right, pulling the rotors off. It's a T40. It's going to be interesting to see how. Oh, it's not too bad. All these are going to get replaced with titanium bolts, so that should shave quite a bit of weight on just bolts alone, honestly. Look at that. Yeah, let's save all these because we'll weigh them. Ooh. Heavy? Damn, that's heavy. Feel yeah. that. Just one rotor? Yeah, see, that's what adds all the weight to the wheel. Rotational mass. Yeah, rotational. So we're going to have to weigh that. Do you want to... Pull everything off? Yeah, let's it. pull everything off and then we'll weigh it. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. All right, other one coming off. You already got the phonic wheel off as well. We're gonna have to weigh all those bolts too. Look at do that. we have caliper bolts? Yes. Ooh. Titanium caliper bolts, yeah. Okay. All right, now let's uh, pull the calipers Actually, off. let's grab the phonic wheel bolts too, because technically- Yeah, that's what I was saying. We're replacing well. those, yeah. All right, we're gonna weigh all the stock star stock parts first because we have to swap the rotors as we take the other ones off. So what we're gonna do is put this guy on first, these guys. You just said weigh the stock stuff first. Weigh the aftermarket stuff first, okay. sorry. So there's the um, put those in there, the bolts. These are the... The new titanium bolts. All right, for phonic wheel and for and the these rotor. These are pretty freaking light. Put that there and put this there. Remember when I said this is what makes the wheel heavy? So that's all the new stock stuff. Sorry, God, the new aftermarket stuff, okay? 10 pounds, 9.9 .9 ounces. And then once we replace these, we'll pull the old stock rotors off. Sorry, calipers off, Jesus. And then we'll weigh everything else and see what the weight savings is. 10.99. All right, we were actually curious um, what the difference of tie bolts is versus, are, are these stainless or aluminum? Uh, let me see. It doesn't matter, the stock bolts. They look stainless. Okay, so it, obviously bolts don't weigh that much. But if you replace every single bolt on the bike, six ounces, 6.2 ounces for the stock bolts, I got it. Okay, now let's see what the titanium bolts are. Wow. 3.4 ounces, so half as much. So imagine replacing every single bolt on this bike with that. We and have, almost. Yeah, we will once we're done, so that's awesome. Okay, let's keep rocking and rolling. Just do the calipers next. Oh, on a side note, Dotto, Dotto always saw these things in there. Well, this thing and that thing, well, and we were like, what I'm the like, hell is this thing yeah. for? Turns out. Turns out I drop everything. God. <laughs> so, it turns out I pulled this little plaque thing off, part of my greasy fingers. Uh -huh. I pulled this off and I saw the pin and I'm like, I know what that is. They give you a little backer, so if you want to wear this. Look how cool to represent, that is. Who wears pins? This is like a stainless plate that's like painted in powder, like, who, who thinks about that? <laughs> yeah, that's you know? actually so, pretty crazy. And that I'm comes gonna, in every big box of pro tie bolts. Yeah. It's so pretty I'm, rad. I'm gonna put this uh, in my little sticker. P pin drawer? Over there. Yeah, I don't have a pin drawer. <laughs> no, I do. Exactly. All right, so if I was doing this off camera, what I would have done is I would have kept the bolts in and the wheel and everything and just covered it. And then I told Jared, I wanna swap this line over to the new caliper. Uh, as as okay, fast as I see. can so we don't get I mean we'll have some air in here and I'll have to bleed it But I want to avoid air going all the way up in but here. We're gonna wait to bleed it because we're gonna be doing the reservoir and the master Right, uh, but uh, master. I would essentially keep the wheel in swap everything over But the reason why you have to have the caliper mounted like I have now is 
Break the bleeder loose? Yeah, break this banjo bolt, aka bleeder. Um, oh, we so, have new bleeders. Yeah, so I'm gonna put this in so while the wheel's off. That. And one of the reasons I didn't want to do it is one, I want to get the rotors and everything off first, and two, I didn't want to get brake fluid on the carbon yep. clear coat. Yep. So let's break this, um, take the bleeder and banjo bolt fitting out, and then what I'll do is I'll just literally swap it over. Swap it over real quick. That means we lose um, the minimum, minimum amount. amount. Yeah. yeah. There's the new bleeders. Look at those things. And then these just essentially, they have like little O-rings on them, which is pretty cool. Um, and then they also give us new uh, crush washers. Yeah. So they'll go on. So the old ones come out. Uh, we'll stick the banjo bolt on here, stick the new bleeders on, tighten everything down, and then we're good to go. Okay. Let's do that on both sides. Yep. All right, so we're curious to see what the difference is in the road or in the calipers, if there is actually a difference. So we're gonna throw the uh, stock ones on, see what that weighs. Two pounds, what is called five ounces. New one. One pound, 14, call it 15 ounces. So that's six ounces. So almost half a pound per caliper. So we're almost at a pound total just Already, calipers. just calipers. That's crazy. I wish we had tie bolts for the caliper. I know, I'll ask Manny if they, if they have them. They're pretty big. Yeah, they are. Okay, let's move on. All right, Dado just finished swapping over the other one. It was quite a dirty job. So uh, I was giving him a hand. You can see a little bit of the brake fluid that dripped out, but he made sure and cleaned everything off with our brake cleaner off the old and the new calipers. And now we can weigh all the stock parts and see what our official weight savings is. All right, it's zeroed out. We're gonna put all the stock parts on there. The new and improved parts were 10 pounds, 10 ounces, or 10 pounds, 9.9. .9. So we'll call it 10 pounds, 10 ounces. Uh-oh. What? We're only at seven pounds. Uh-oh. Oh. oh God. 11 pounds, so we're saved a pound. A little over a pound. Total of a pound. A little over a pound of weight savings, but that's rotational mass, plus the almost three pounds on the chain and sprocket. So that's almost four pounds of rotation. You want to get technical. We wasted a lot of these pads away. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Look at that, that's beautiful setup right All there. All right. Okay, let's move on. All right, new rotors are going on with the tie bolts, torquing them down. And then we'll move on to the other side. Well, actually, we gotta add the phonic wheel to this side, ABS ring, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, you're doing a mother effing Starboy pattern. And now we add the ABS ring. No, I'm gonna flip it. Do this rotor, and then we're gonna add the phonic ring. Okay, sounds good. All right, we got everything on, everything torqued down. Looks absolutely beautiful. The other side actually looks better because the ring covers the titanium bolts on this side. Wanna flip it around? Look at that. There we go. I mean, it's all gonna get covered by the. And then we realized that it has What's wrong, Jared? <laughs> something loose. Floating I'm, not a toy. I'm a I'm real just a floating floating <laughs> Okay, so I was about to ask Dotto how he knows which way this goes, but it's because we know that the sensor, ABS ring sensor wires on this side, so we the know that. The phony has to go. wheel. The phonic. The phony phonic wheel. Okay. So that's that. I'm gonna give him a hand so nothing smacks anything while we push this up and then I'll show you what it looks like. Alright. Pinch bolts getting tightened down. We will torque those properly. Um, Dotto lubed the shaft. He really wanted me to show you, but I was packing stuff up. Plus that's for all the pants. Yeah, two dudes, one shaft. Um, cleaned and lubed the shaft. It's all put back in together. He's gonna tighten that all the way down and then we can put the calipers on. Actually, before we put the calipers on, we need to get the um, carbon brake cooling ducts. That's right. Ha ha. All right, putting the calipers on along with the carbon brake cooling ducts. Actually, this looks like it sits a lot lower, so hopefully, I don't think that it would ever compress that far, do you? If it does, we'll, I'm gonna turn that down a tiny bit, sorry. Music's blasting. All right, so there you go, there's a first look. Well, that's actually on, right? Yeah, it's not torqued down, but it's yeah. on. Yeah, so it's not torqued, but there it is. So that's the new Brember, Brember, <laughs> God. Brembo Stylema Caliper. Um, if we have new bolts for these in blue, I'm gonna get them. Otherwise, we'll, we'll keep the stock bolts. Um, the new rotors, the new tie bolts on the rotors, and we actually have axle sliders coming too. Oh yeah, you wanna mention that, Dotto? Yeah. These in order for those to fit, yeah. have to come out. Yeah. Um, these are basically guide pins for the calipers. 
the, new the stock calipers. calipers. Yeah, yeah. The cal these Brembo calipers are actually smaller in diameter, so these have to come out, which actually works out because the distance that these little spacers are is what this um, uh, metal covers. Perfect. So we're gonna so do the other side. Perfectly on there. Be it. All right. Yeah. So if you're wondering how these go on, they basically go on first, and then the caliper goes on over top of them, and then we slide everything else together. He's got the um, ABS line that hooks in over that uh, bolt up there. Yeah, that's what holds that all together. Yeah. So it's a little more complicated on the left hand side, but still looks just as good. I love these rotors too because they're black right here. Everything's blacked out instead of silver. Look at that with the wheel. Man, this bike is absolutely insane. So we'll let him get everything tightened down. We'll torque it and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, folks, look at that. Everything got, we got everything torqued down and uh, it looks so weird without a sticker on the exhaust, but um, that looks incredible. So there's that side. We come over here, you can see this side. The brakes don't work. I tried to use them and now they're just dragging. But once we bleed the brakes and everything, it'll fix all that. But look at that setup. You gotta so, think it's new pads too, so they need that yeah. in and everything. So new rotors, new calipers, new carbon brake cooling ducts. We have axle sliders coming for these as well. Manny's sending out the rest of the parts tomorrow actually. And that's how she's sitting in her current state. So again, you can enter to win this bike. Patreon.com slash Custom is always the first link in the description below. You know what I'm thinking now, Dotto, is it might make more sense. I'm gonna hold this. Okay, there we go. It might make more sense to um, get get the red Acker sticker now for the back, because it would balance it would balance the calipers to have the red Acker sticker back so we'll red one then. on there. You know what I mean? I like the red calipers a lot. I do too. They look dope. I think blue would have been also very nice, but. We even had an option of black too, but I went with red because I thought it would be cool, like I said, to have red there and then black or blue back here. Look at that. So yeah, that's it. So again, huge shout out to Manny from Moto Million for sponsoring this build. Um, use my code CAMPEASY to save yourself some money on any, anything you order from them. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a big old juicy thumbs up, subscribe for more, and stay tuned for the next one. Peace.